The Steve Coulter Crooked Leg Cross. This move is nasty. I've been getting a lot of requests for this and I'm finally breaking it down for you guys. This move is gonna be great to send your defender flying one way, really get him to commit, and then come back the other way. And it's a really different type of a behind the back dribble. Coach Jesse Minchin with Get Handles Basketball where I show you how to play like the pros. If that's something you're looking to do, make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell icon to catch the newest videos. And if there's anything else in your game that you're trying to improve, make sure you check out my channel. I probably got a video on it already, but if I don't, leave me a comment down below and let me know. So this move, like I said, uses some different footwork with the behind the back dribble. So normally when you do your behind the back, you're usually gonna do it where you stop with the same side foot as the hand that has the basketball plant and go behind the back, or you're gonna come plant here and shuffle this way, or sometimes you'll even do it where you'll plant and then push back off that leg to wrap into a one-two step. So what makes this so different? It gives a different effect in the setup. So it's both a setup and a change of direction. Most of your behind the backs are a change of direction or a stop. This is like a stop, a change of direction, and a first step all wrapped into one. So what you're gonna do is, whichever hand has the basketball, you're gonna take a hard step with the opposite foot, but in the direction of the hand that has the basketball. So that right there is the big difference that's really gonna change the dynamics. Because when you take this step, it looks an awful lot like your first step. Usually you're gonna step with this foot as your big step to protect the basketball with this leg from the defender. From there, your defender's probably gonna to commit to this, right? Especially if you're paying attention to this big key, which is to make sure you get either really close, even, or past your defender with this step. That'll make it so they have to commit, because if they don't, well then you can just keep going past them. It's easy, right? But by doing this as your setup, now they gotta commit. So they're gonna start to slide. Hit that like button if that tip helps you out. From there, all you're gonna do is slide this back foot in so they're kind of close to each other and you're still kind of turned this way. And what that's gonna do is put you in position to wrap it forward right from it. So it kind of combines that stop on a dime type behind the back. It kind of combines that wrap, but it also combines that first step to initiate the defender to start moving. And before they can react to you going into the behind the back, you're already going into it. So it's quicker than your normal behind the back, it sends the defender flying, and it allows you to wrap the ball forward right away so as they're sliding, you can beat them. Now the big thing to make sure this works is that you get some good speed onto this first step, make sure that positioning of that first step is right, and that you go into that behind the back quickly. A couple things you wanna pay attention to on the actual behind the back dribble. So once you get this foot planted here, you wanna wrap the basketball behind your back so it really comes far this way. So as they're committing this way, you can really start moving forward and seal them, get past them, right? When you're releasing the dribble, focus on making sure this hand comes all the way to the opposite side of your body and kind of curls in here. That'll direct the basketball more forward. I try to slap my opposite side butt, so left hand, right side butt, or by the hip bone here. That'll wrap it more forward. Other thing you want to pay attention to is while you're doing that, you're kind of going to hop to the side and take like a little either shuffle like that or more of a one-two step like that. Either way, you wanna kinda push off both feet at the same time. Since they're nice and close to each other, that'll allow you to really wrap the ball and hop forward from it to start covering ground. Put those in place and a lot better chance from the move, you'll be able to seal the defender off and get an easy layup. One other way to make this change of direction even quicker it's gonna be hard to get down at first though, is if you got the room with your defender, instead of bringing this leg forward here and planting, you can wrap it all the way to this direction. So you're coming right from this fake this way and wrapping it back this way. Other nice thing about that is as you'll notice, ball's protected with this leg as I'm going into the behind the back. Key tips to the actual dribble motion on the behind the back will remain pretty much the same though. You do all that, really good chance you'll be able to blow by your defender, maybe even break their ankles, because I've seen the highlights of Steve Coulter doing this almost every time the defender commits super hard because he takes this hard step and they see him coming here. And as a defender, mentally they're like, man, I gotta get back in front of him. So a nasty move that you can use to break more ankles and get by defenders. If you wanna do even more of that, I've got a workout for you that will give you some drills and moves. It's kind of a combination of both to get you that kind of extend type handle. You'll see what I'm talking about when you get the workout. Just click the top link in the description down below, pop in your email, I'll send that to you instantly for free. It's called the Defender Destroyer Workout. It's already helped thousands of players and I'm sure it'll help you too. Also, if you found this video helpful, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and get on that notification squad and check out this video and this playlist. You're gonna love those as well. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and make moves today.